Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the S Pen on any Samsung tablet. So keep in mind, the Samsung tablet you're using has to support the S Pen, otherwise this video will not be relevant for you, so that is just something to keep in mind. So let's just take out the S Pen here, and you can see, when you take the S Pen out of, you know, its charging area, you should see this right here. This is the S Pen uh, quick menu. So. If you don't see this, or you would like to remove it after seeing what it does, you do this by opening up settings, scroll down till you see here, uh, advanced features, so I may have scrolled past advanced uh, features, S Pen, scroll down, and you should see here, uh, where is it? We can see here, show air command icon, if you turn that off, it's off, tap on it again, and then that will turn that one on. So what we can do is with the finger, you cannot tap on this, uh, you see these quick actions here. However, you can move it around with the finger. You do need to tap on it with the S Pen in order to see the quick action. So these are the default ones, which will show up uh, inside of, you know, the quick actions. However, to change them, you see the add, you tap into that one and you can see you have the minus to remove the quick action. And then you just tap on these quick actions to add them. So the S Pen features, these are the regular S Pen quick actions. All apps will just load up an application. So let's say I tap on the clock, you can see it adds that into the quick action. If I tap on the minus, that will remove the quick action right here. So let's go back and you can see the clock, tap into it. And all it does is just load up the application. So we'll just go back again, tap the S Pen and we'll tap on create notes. So I have a dedicated 20 minute tutorial on how to take notes using the S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. If you haven't watched that yet, or you know, you just want to know, I'll have the tutorial in the description down below. And so I'm not gonna cover how to use Samsung Notes in this video because I have that dedicated video. However, what you need to know is you can see when we use the S Pen, you can see this view is popped out. It's not full screen. It just popped out and so what we need to know is how to edit this window so first of all if you grab the sides you can change the size of the window like so however if you would like to make this full screen you see the blue bar tap into that one you see that full screen icon you tap on that and that will bring that to full screen if you would like to close out the application you tap on the x if you'd like to bring it back into the windowed mode you tap on this icon to the left of the x you can see it does that Let's tap on the blue bar again, and you see here, this one, this is the minimize. And you can see when you minimize, you have this little icon for the notes. This can be dragged around. And if you tap on it, you can see it brings back the notes application. Let's tap on the blue bar again. Tap on the icon to the left. This changes the transparency right here. So you can see this is the minimize, and this is the transparency. And if you tap into this one, this will just remove the blue bar. And you can see it will just give you these quick actions on the side here. Of course, that's the same. That's the minimized. That's the full screen. That's the close application. You tap on the triple lines and then the bar. You can see we get the blue bar back. So we'll just tap on this. And then we have the X here that just closes out of the Samsung Notes application. And of course, you do have these other quick actions. When you do have those other quick actions, let's save your notes. So we'll just tap into that one here. You can see it'll bring up the notes app, all that good stuff. If it does bring out a windowed view, of course, you can use the same instructions as earlier to mess around with those. So let's just use the F features now. So what on earth are those? So you can see here we have this button on the S Pen itself, and that button can be used for certain actions. So the air actions are best described by what we're gonna do is don't do these near the tablet itself. So this is right next to the tablet. This is further away. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hold down this button by holding it down you can see it's going to load up the camera application and of course you can see my face so when you inside the camera application there are a bunch of things you can do so if we get the s pen of course so make sure make sure it's not next to the tablet it needs to be back and so if we double click the button you can see it's going to flip the cameras so earlier it was using the front camera now it's going to use the back camera and what you do is every action you do you have to hold this uh button here so we'll just hold and swipe to the right and i don't know if that did do it right i think it did you can see it changed the uh mode and then we swipe the other way 
So it does seem like this slides. So you can see it's, I'm swiping to the right. It does show that. And then it will change the mode to the left. And we swipe to the left. You can see it changes the mode to the right. And then if we go swipe up, that changes the, you can see the camera mode, like so. And it isn't perfect. Sometimes you can see I'll swipe up and it will, you know, recognize a uh, swipe to the right. And then if you want to take a picture, you just click the button here. And I think I was in the video mode. I was in a single text. Let's just go to the photo mode. Click. And you can see, take a picture, like so. If I double click, if you put your hand in the air, so if I put the hand in the air, you can see it does a timer. So this doesn't matter, you don't need the S Pen for this. So we just put a hand in the air. You can see it'll do a little timer and it'll take the picture. So those are the air actions. If we go to settings, then we scroll down, advanced features, S Pen, air actions. You can see there are these other actions that we can do as well. So first of all, before I go into these actions, you see hold down pen button two, and then you can change this action here. So uh, do keep in mind that, you know, the swiping across like left, swiping across right, that will also work inside of other applications, not just the camera. But do keep in mind, guys, each application has, you know, whether or not, you know, the actions will work. It will have some features which do work, some features which do not work. Of course, the camera app is the best example where, you know, every air action is working. However, if you see in the settings, you can see this app doesn't support the action. It will tell you if it does support it. So if it does, of course, you can use it. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. So hold down S button 2 and you can see when it sets the camera, uh, by default, yours will also be set to the camera. However, if you do have an app you always open up, let's say the note taking app, you can just hold down the, uh, the S Pen button and it will open up that application. Let's say that's Note Shelf or Samsung Note. Now you can see we also have these other air actions here. So we have the back, home, recent, smart uh, select, and screen right. So, what you need to do in order to do the back is you want to hold down the button and then you do this so this is a less than sign you just do a less than sign and once you have done this air action make sure to release the button right so hold the button while you do the action and then release and then it will do that action so let's go back to s pen air actions so then we have home and recent so unfortunately with this software it's quite you know the, the software isn't very good at telling the difference between the two so for the home i recommend you do try and do this action if you want to do a recent do a curve and so let's just do the home you can see you just do a quick up down does home if you do a curve you can see that goes to the recent and recent referring to multitasking so a curve and you can see sometimes it just glitches out entirely but sometimes it does work and then a quick up down and you can see that does a home you will need to take a bit of time uh, spent to get used to those air actions. Personally, I don't use the air actions at all. However, if you do, you might as well have them. So let's go back to S Pen. Air actions, you can turn off the air actions if you would like to. And then, uh, but we obviously haven't finished. Let's do the smart select so it's down up. So down up. And you can see, essentially, we'll give us the uh, smart select tool. We'll do just highlight this. Uh, do you, I'll use this tool, so select here, select here, this is the crop, so this arrow will be selected, this arrow will be selected, and of course you can minus as well, and if you just select this plus, then we'll just minus it, so boom, boom, done, and you can see it will just crop that area out, and then this here will extract the text, which is showing up, and then you have the save as well. And of course, we do have the screen rights. This is just to shake the pen like that. And once you do that, it will take a screenshot of the page and then you can annotate it. So that is different between the other modes here, which is the smart select, because the smart select is essentially the crop tool. You know, you just select a certain area. The screen right allows you to you know, take a screenshot of the full page. You can crop it to show the full page and then annotate right here. Let's just save that as well. So you may want to use these features, you may not. Me personally, I'm going to turn the air actions off. 
Then we have the screen off memo. So this allows you to start a new note while the screen is off. So let's just uh, turn off the screen. And while holding down this button, double tap, and then you can start you know, annotating. So once you're in this area, you don't need to hold the button anymore. Of course, you can hello, whatever. The first time it will ask you to unlock your tablet, but once you do have a setup, you can obviously mess around, boom. And let's just go like this, save like so, and it will save that note into the Samsung Note application. So you say the uh, whole time the tablet was off, and just like that, we are able to use it. Now, another thing as well is we will need Air Actions on for this. You see the S Pen Undock. So we'll just turn this on. You will need to enter in your PIN and just tap on continue. And so, how this works is if your tablet automatically locks while you have the S Pen out. You can just hold this button here away from the tablet and it will automatically unlock the tablet again. So keep in mind, guys, this only works if you know you uh, the uh, tablet itself automatically locks. If you press the lock button here and you hold up the S Pen, it's not going to do anything you can see here. So that's just something to keep in mind that only works while, you know, the tablet automatically locks itself. Then you have the quick rate notes here. So while holding down this button, double tap the screen. So to start again, you can see it opens up the Samsung Notes application. But of course, you can use the quick actions, connect notes to do the exact same thing as well, if you would like. Then you have the S Pen to text. So what this does is it allows you to use your S Pen to write in search fields. So let's just tap on here. And then you can use the S Pen here, like so, and it will write text. So I said here, hello, I like, and you can see it'll write out, and then you have the options. We see self-explanatory space, backspace, and then the keyboard, all that good stuff. Then we have the air view here. So what this does is if you, you know, bring your S Pen and you aren't, you know, holding the screen, but you're right next to the screen, you see that little cursor here. What it does is you can see if you go to certain actions, you will see some options. So the best way to see this is inside of the uh, gallery. So if you open up the gallery, you can see if you just bring it up. You can see it will preview the images like so. So you can see you just hold it. It allows you to preview the images like that. There are a bunch of other options. It really just depends where you are, you know, which applications, all that good stuff, because not everything is supported. Then let's go to advanced features S Pen again. You can see show pointer when hovering. So the pointer is, you can see on my finger is, that little white area here. That is the pointer. If you turn that off, then you're not going to see the pointer. I recommend you keep that on. Then you have allow multiple S pens. So if you want to connect multiple S pens, of course, keep that on. Then the shortcuts, that's what I talked about earlier. So that is, if you go to the home screen, these are all the shortcuts here. You can just tap on the add button to change that. However, of course, it's like the settings app and then advanced features. S pen, if you would like to change the shortcuts there, you can, of course. I've already covered show air command icon that is you know the command icon and then open air commands with pen button we need to do is you see when the cursor is showing up on the tablet that means you're close enough and if you just click the uh, button see the button right here just click it once you can see it will bring up the air action so if you don't want the air button to show up but you still want to bring up the air commands you just click into this just like that you can see the quick actions show up and then when S Pen is removed, you can change this if you would like. Warn if S Pen is left behind. I recommend you turn that on. For me, it was turned off by default. And then sounds. So if you would like sounds to be played, you can turn that on and off as well. So I've covered every single setting on the S Pen. I've covered how to use the air actions and how to use the quick actions as well, which you can see right here. So that's all there is to it with the S Pen. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.